what is up my GTA family I'm back with another video um, today's video actually comes from a subscribers request um, shout out to Hamad Shakur um, he had previously watched my CEO V tutorial video and asked how I had got so much money in the game and I you know explained how I started off you know doing what I did doing like double money and certain other missions to get up to the millions I got and get all the businesses and vehicles and everything else that you can desire in the game and he asked me to cut a video about it so I told him that I would so now I'm just getting to that now so as you see here um, what I'm doing is just draining all of my money from my current character I'm, I'm like a rank 190 something I'm not sure I have over 50 million dollars I have everything when the new DLC dropped I was able to purchase everything in the game um, I have all the businesses um, the hangers, bunker, nightclubs, arcade, everything. So, you know, I'm just draining all of the money from that character because, as you know, or if you didn't know, your characters, if you make two of them, they'll share the same bank account. But if you do drain the money out of the bank account and just keep it in the guy's pocket, then it won't carry over to your other character. So I just want to show you guys how I start from scratch and go to a multi-millionaire with everything you could ever desire in the game. And I'm just going to show you guys step one all the way to the, where I'm at now. So let's just go ahead and finish draining this and get started. Alright, the first step of going from level one to a multi-millionaire in Grand Theft Auto Online is your character creation. So I, like I said, I already had one created. We're going to go ahead and get off of him go to our level one character you guys so you guys can see it's no fluff you know i'm not finna try to sugarcoat anything i'm not finna you know play camera trickery or anything we've had about to go with level one to multi-millionaire working our way up to billionaire status so we're gonna go ahead and pick our guy now we've already done the customization now let's get in here Alright, so now once you've loaded into the session, the first thing you're going to want to do is run over here to the Diamond Casino. And you know, this is going to be a place where you can make a lot of money. Well, it's where I made a lot. Now we have a new DLC at the Cal Perico. I, you know, run them both, but I do the Cal Perico more. But this is the place you can make a whole lot of money out of. When you come in here, you're just going to get this introductory cutscene. They're just going to tell you a little, this guy's going to tell you a little bit about the casino. Um, explain a few things. Whoop whoop, you get to watch them whenever you uh, come in here. We're just going to go ahead and get started. Alright, so the first thing we're going to want to do when we get into the casino is come over here to the um, cashier services desk. And that's because we're going to need at least $500 so we can sign up for a club membership for the casino so we can get our... Uh, spin at the lucky wheel now this wheel provides a lot of opportunities you can win uh, the podium vehicle which is what most people like to win you know that's one reason people like to log in but you can also win money um, res uh, reputation points discounts closed discounts chips from the casino which equivalents to money and a mystery box different things is especially when you're starting off worthwhile so you want to get that you can get a thousand dollars from that casino um, cashier and you come over here and pay 500 of that thousand dollars you actually get another bonus of five thousand dollars the first time you come on so once you've gotten that thousand dollars just come over to the wheel get your lucky spin um, you're gonna need a garage in order to win the vehicle if i'm not mistaken i know i can't get even the free vehicles that they have this week it's because i don't have a garage so you want to win the money if at all possible so you can sign up for a VIP all right and then the next thing that we're going to do we're gonna want to go to the um, pause menu go to online and click on the jobs menu now what we're looking for here every week um, Rockstar releases a triple or double money um, money and rewards reputation point mission sometimes there are multiple ones sometimes it's only one this week there is only one and it's a double money you know it's it's kind of rare that we get a triple money but we do get them and it's you know some of the best stuff you can do as a beginner to you know become a millionaire in the game so we're gonna go ahead and log in to the double money reward mission today which is the in and out mission 
And you know, we're just gonna grind this out until we get at least a hundred thousand dollars. So now that we've won a few games, we are busting a few heads out here in this mission. It's, it's pretty fun. It's going to get you rep, uh, respect points up or reputation points, whatever. We have some money. Again, this, this is pretty fun. It's going to get your reputation points up is, and it gets you ranked up and uh, level-wise is what's most important. We won a few games. We made at least $100,000 again. We're going to come out here next, go back to the free world, and we're going to go find ourselves a helicopter because there are a few missions you can do that are gonna make you a millionaire in no time. We're gonna make, become a millionaire in less than a day today. This is gonna be about a five to six hour process depending on how quick you are. You can do it in a little less time, possibly four hours, you know, if you're quick and you are experienced in the game. So we're gonna pull up that menu. You're gonna um, do this mod mission where you do the bounty hunts. There are about three targets, three to five targets. I did three, some people said they've had five. But you just go find these targets. You can either kill them or you can take them in. If you take them in, then you can get an extra $5,000. Or you can just kill them and get $5,000 per kill. In my opinion, it's not worth it to um, try to take a man alive because you're going to have to drive all the way out to a part of the map that's out of the city and you know you don't want to be doing all this driving if you're trying to get rich as fast as possible. So just go ahead and kill him because the most important part of this is getting this gun. It's going to be a mission. You'll see. Just stay tuned with me and you'll see the gun I'm talking about. So you just want, it's, like I said, it's three of them. We're going to go kill this. This is the last one. She sends you a text message that tells you that there's just one more and we go find this person right here there are random locations it's not always going to be these same ones these ones were just my spawns so after we kill this one we get a treasure map as you see we get a treasure chest that pops up on the map in gold so now what all we're going to want to do is go over here to this treasure chest because this is where you make the real money doing these missions right here so i'm going to get back to you when we get these treasure chests all right, so this particular treasure chest is located right over here. We've flown over here now. We're going to go ahead and jump out. Now we have to climb up here for this one. Um, there are going to be different locations. There are different treasure chests. Like I said, just stay tuned with me. I'm going to show you all different locations of the treasure hunts. So we're going to come up here for the first one. Now this one is the mod mission. We did the bounty hunt. We're going to get the stone axe, and we're going to have to do complete a, a certain challenge in order to get another uh, $250,000. So now we have to get 25 kills with this stone axe. Um, with this stone axe, it's pretty cool. You know, you get to, if you, as you see here, when you kill somebody, you get this little rampage. You go in savage mode, if you will. And you have to go kill 25 people with this axe. There's no specified amount of time. You just have to get 25 kills. Once, you know, you, once that, once you've been running around for a certain amount of time, that rampage in savage mode does go away unless you get some consecutive kills while you're in it. Like if I would have killed all these people at once, it would have gave me a little boost on that. So, you know, you can just kill anybody. You can kill cops, you can kill the NPCs, civilians around the world, or you can kill actual players, which, you know, would probably be a little harder trying to run up on them and do that. So, like I said, just get 25 kills with this, and we're going to go ahead and do that. Savage mode. Savage mode. Alright. Okay, another one. But, you know, this gets it's starting to get a bit gruesome, but you know we have to do it. But, you know, we have to get 
All right, so that's two hundred fifty thousand dollars right there. So now we did the um, we did the double money missions, and we did that. Now we're at three hundred and fifty, three hundred sixty thousand dollars. So the next thing we're gonna want to do, there's another one. When you pull up this Vanderline um, email, and you're gonna get another treasure hunt. So you just go to these locations. Once you pull up the email, you'll get a little. A yellow circle on your map and it'll give you an area once you get close to these areas as you can hear there's like little jingles or there you can feel your controller and you can hear different things some of them like have wind chimes some of them have like little eerie music and stuff like that but you'll hear them once you get close and there are going to be three different locations on the map these are usually where they're at so the first one is up here in sandy shores it's right on the edge of the water it's going to be a little um, a little cabin or a little building that's a, a little incomplete building if you will so we're just gonna fly over here to the building and find the first clue all right so we're just gonna run in here as you see it's a little shovel now when I did it it was during the holiday so there was snow in here you, you should see everything a bit easier so we just go see the clue get out of there go find the next one get back in the helicopter make sure you guys have a helicopter for all of these so the second clue is over here in grape seed. We're just gonna go ahead and fly down here. It's right next to this tree. As you see, you just run up to the tree. You can see the little chest down there right now. We're gonna look inside of it. Oh, there was a gun there. It's a missing gun and bullets. So I'm sure that's gonna be the gun that we're gonna have to get some more kills with. So the next clue was a little bit closer to the city. I like to fly out further away and then come back to the city. So I come over here. This one's near the a cave in the mountains. Like I said, you'll see all of these locations on your map. We just come over here, find the third clue. And then we are going to get a message down here that gives us, well, we're going to get the treasure chest. So we go find the treasure chest. And it's going to give us a message that tells us that it's been revealed. So now we just have to run over there to it. Now we're gonna go ahead and land over here near the treasure chest. Run up to it, go find it. Like I said, anything, when you get close to little um, clues like this or, or, or different missions like this, then it's gonna, you'll be able to notice because it's gonna either have a wind chime or some sort of vibration in your remote or whatever to let you know that you're very close. And the closer you get, the louder it gets. So we're getting the golden pistol, got the double action revolver now. So we, with this, pistol we have to go get 50 headshots as you can see up in the um, left hand top corner you can see we have to get 50 headshots with this double action revolver and we get some sort of reward points and some sort of a reward so let's go ahead and get the 50 headshots similar to the axe kill only uh, double you know again you can kill NPCs cops or regular players in, in the lobby doesn't matter you know it's just easier to do this so we're gonna go ahead and knock this out really quick because like I said we're trying to get to multi-millionaire status in the least amount of time possible so as you see that's another two hundred fifty thousand dollars and we're up to seven hundred thousand now now I did this out of order you know I, I, I put the video together out of order we've done a few different things done a few missions so um, the next thing you want to do is go get the helicopter as you see here but you know my money's lower here so we're gonna go get a helicopter and now there's another treasure hunt that you now this is a, a bit different this is the first one I actually did we have to go find this this is the um, slasher treasure hunt where we fly over here I put the locations in the game these are all the locations where the treasures are so this is the first one we want to go see can you find me? So this is the start of the treasure hunt. Then we're gonna go ahead and make sure you guys have a helicopter again. We're gonna go ahead and jump back in the helicopter. This is the second location. It's over here in the airfield. In the Grand Sierra Desert Airstrip. All right, so it's right over here. So we're gonna come over to this one. Now when you guys get over here, you're gonna look for a certain area. It's like a little um, a couple of trash bags over there, a few trash bags that you're gonna see right here when we get up to it. So you walk up to this, now it's gonna be on the other, as you see down there, near the bottom right hand corner, you can see a little hand, somebody's hand got chopped off, so 
we're gonna look at that plume that's the next one we're gonna go ahead and just exit out of that solid already now we can get out of there and as you see we get five thousand dollars per clue now this is the third one up near the other airstrip a little further north near the grape sea um, airstrip and uh, yeah if y'all if y'all like the video and the content man i would appreciate it if you you know hit the subscribe button hit a like button it, it helps me out a lot you know lets me know you guys like the content that i'm putting out and lets me know that it's helping you guys that's so i can come up with more of this stuff and I, I most definitely appreciate it. So now the third clue over here is by this barn, broken down barn. We're gonna come over here. It's, it's a hatchet, a bloody hatchet, just hanging in the wall. Easy to spot, like I said, you can feel the vibration in your remote once you get closer. Now moving on to location number four, it's up here near Polito Bay. Go ahead and fly up here now. So we're gonna land in this one. You can see it is in the middle of these buildings. It's just gonna be a, a bloody handprint on this door. All right, so we saw the bloody handprint. That's clue number four. Now we have one more to go see. Now this last clue could be in a few different locations. I'm gonna go ahead and map out all of the locations until I find the one that ours is at. So the first one is right up here, right around where we are, just, you know, <clears throat> on the east side of the map. So we're going to fly over here. I'll point out what, where it's going to be at once we get over here, if it's not there. All right, so it's not here, but it would be right over here, exactly where I'm pointing at on that little um, concrete. All right, the second location is a little bit further down the highway. Um, not too far. It's going to be, as you see, I'm putting it in between because it's actually going to be under the bridge, not on the road. So it's actually under the bridge. So let's fly over here and see this one. Now, you, once you get under the bridge, you run up here and the, tr the van will be located right over there where I'm pointing. So you'll notice you're there. Now the third location is just a little bit further down. So these locations are pretty close to, well, most of the locations are pretty close to each other. So this one's just a little further down. All right, so we're gonna land over here. And as you see, there's a water tank or whatever tank that is. And it would be right over there between that and the brick or, or the wall or whatever. And the fourth location is a little bit further off um, over by Fort Zancudo. So we're just gonna fly over here. And again, you'll be able to feel the vibration and hear certain sounds that you normally can't hear once you get close. And as you can tell, we can kinda hear them now. I'm not seeing it. Let's run around here really quick. Um, I know it's close. Absolutely, here we are. Now here's the van right here. This is the fourth location and we have spotted it. So it should be in one of these five locations. I'm going to point it to the other location on the map here really quick. But as you see, we got we found that. So that's the third one. I'm sorry, the um, that's the last one. That's the fifth one. So now what you want to do after you found the last clue between the hours of 7 p.m. and 5 a.m., Grand Theft Auto time, you want to fly over here to this airstrip. Now you have to come over here in order to catch the slasher. You're going to see that message that he, he threads you, tells you that he's tired of you snooping around, woo, woo, blah, 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 and he's going to pop out of nowhere on you. Once you land over here, like I said, it has to be between the hours of 7 p.m. and 5 a.m. He's going to pop up on you. Now you don't, you don't want to die. As you see, we got $50,000. You don't want to die because if you do, you're going to have to wait till the next day in order to do it. So it's real easy to kill him. You just have to make sure you're um, prepared when he pops up. So we got that. Now the next thing we're going to want to do in order to make some quick money, you come over here to flight school down at the LSIA airport. Now this is going to get us a few quick thousand dollars. Um, there are 10 of these missions. It's also going to get you the, your respect points and it's also going to help you build up your um, stats on your flight. 
your flight stats, whatever you want to call them. So you come over here, like I said, there's 10 different missions you can get. Now if you can get a gold star on the first one, you get $10,000. It's just quick and easy money to help us get a little bit more money in the game. You know, it's not necessary. You don't have to do this step, but you know, if you want to get some money, sometimes they have the double rewards on this as well. If you do want to get some quick money and build um, and, and get to your CEO status faster, then go ahead and do these missions and get as many gold stars as you can on here. It'll help out a lot. Sometimes it gets you the 10,000, sometimes it doesn't, but like I said, it gets you your respect points and it gets your reputation up and get you leveled higher so go ahead and do that you know if you have the time and you just want to you know especially if you want to learn how to fly the planes and different um, flying vehicles Alright, so the next thing we're going to do on our journey to become a millionaire and get CEO status something you probably guessed is we're going to go back to our double money whatever it is this week this not this isn't always going to be the one but we're going to go back to the double or triple money event week mission and we're going to log into that and we're going to grind that out we're going to go ahead and do that as many times as we can now once you start doing it you're going to be getting better at it as you can you're going to see reputation you know does or repetition excuse me does go a long way so we, we're going to be winning more we're going to be getting more money we're going to be at the top of the charts all the time sometimes we do lose rounds and we get less money but this is a quick way to get money so we're going to go ahead and grind this out as much as possible until we can get our first million dollars and purchase our first seat or purchase our first business which is going to be the ceo office all right so we won this one again we're gonna go ahead and like i said it's not always going to be a hundred thousand dollars but this is fifty thousand dollars in about 20 minutes so now if you get tired of doing the double money mission sometimes it does get tiring since we've already got our hundred thousand dollars in the bank we can go ahead and log into our um securo serve and we can register as a vip and what this is going to do is open up some vip jobs which are the two that we're going to grind out, which are the two easiest, the quickest ones, are the Sightseer, which we're going to do here. All you have to do is um, log in. You're going to get some codes that you have to hack. There are going to be three different codes that you're going to have to hack because there are three different locations. This is just one of them. I'll go through the other ones here in a bit, but you just go to the locations, find the packages, and bring them. Uh, well, you don't even have to bring them back. Just find the packages, and once you find the third one, then you'll get the money and it's, it takes about five minutes especially once you have a helicopter like I always say you're going to want to most definitely go find yourself a helicopter in order to do these because it's going to make it a lot quicker especially since we don't have any vehicles of our own since we're coming up from the mud and trying to become a baller from the ground up you know this is you know come no fluff we're not buying shark cars anything like that we're grinding and you know we're going through the process and you know the process is what builds character so let's get through this process and become a millionaire in this game all right so this is the third one like i said there are three different types of hacking devices that you have to hack we're going to the third location and as you see here we get twenty five twenty two thousand dollars it's usually between about twenty and twenty five thousand you know i just um rounded up to about twenty two point five so that's that and again man i appreciate you guys watching this this is what we're going to do to grind up to a million dollars and we're going to go ahead and purchase our ceo office so that we can because the vip it has a time limit on it with the ceo office there's no time limit we can do the vip work all day long so we're going to go ahead and drop another video here soon i'm going to go ahead and grind a bit more on the um double money mission and the sightseer and headhunter vip mission until i can get up to that million dollars we're going to purchase ourselves a ceo office and then on the next video we're going to be doing a bit more of the double money grind with the sightseer and the headhunter mixed in there we're going to see if we can get invited to some casino heist possibly or some Cayo perico heist possibly we're low level so i'm not going to bank on that but like I said, we're going to get to that ground. We're going to build ourselves up. Once we get the CEO, we're going to grind up. This is where the real grind begins. We're going to get up to about $2.2 million. I used to say buy the vehicle warehouse, but that no longer applies, folks. 
stay tuned, watch the next video. I'm gonna show you guys how to really make a lot of money in the least amount of time in Grand Theft Auto 5. It does not involve getting the vehicle warehouse or the cargo warehouse. Now those things are nice to have to grind if you wanna do that later on, but they are not the best money making methods in the game. I'm going to show you guys in this series how to make the most money in Grand Theft Auto 5 in the least amount of time. So stay tuned with me. Check out the next video. You guys subscribe, turn on the notifications so you can get those updates when those videos do drop. Um, if you have any other video ideas, any other content ideas you'd like to see me put out, again, drop down in the comments. And again, this is a uh, subscriber's request. Again, I appreciate you, Hamad Shakur, for the, um, for the request for the video. I appreciate the subscription and you reaching out to me. You know, like I said, if you guys want to ever reach out to me for anything, I'm always open. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm you know, I'm, I'm, I'm a real guy. I'm a real person, man. Just reach out to me. Let me know if there's anything I can help with. If you guys want to grind, you know, make friends in the game. Whatever you guys want to do, just reach out to me. I always appreciate you guys watching. Stay tuned for the next video. We're going to grind it out. I'm going to show you guys how to make millions in this game. Get everything you want. My other character has everything, man. But like I said, I'm going to show you guys how to do it from ground one, level one, ground zero, to millionaire status multi-millionaire status over 50 million dollars in the bank account with everything that you already want so you have 50 million and all of the liabilities you can have all assets all liabilities let's get it y'all take it easy i appreciate you watching you know what i'm saying i don't know just thank you for everything y'all just take it easy